<clears throat> okay, if you're still watching this, then I guess you're probably considering buying a guitar. I just wanted to go over a couple of things that I look at whenever I'm looking at a guitar. This Taylor guitar is a, uh, it's got a really beautiful satin finish on it. Taylor's got some of the finest finishing people in the world right now. They're, uh, I don't know about their Mexican plant, but I know the U.S. plant. This is made in the U.S. It just produces amazing quality finish. Something else I'm looking at on this is the, uh, the tuners. When you're buying a guitar, uh, a good set of tuners makes a big difference whenever you go to practice. You, you want to be able to dial it up and, and have it stay perfect. Taylor guitar stays in tune. You can carry this guitar inside or outside. Uh, on a hot or cold day and it pretty much holds a good tune where if you're playing in a stadium setup or something outdoors and the weather's not perfect that day you don't want a guitar that's going to fall out of tune whenever you get it outdoors in, in your gig so this is a good gigging guitar I mean it's a professional quality it has the electronics installed which I didn't use those this video but it's a solid uh, what is it Sapelli which is a type of mahogany on the back and sides Sapelli and it's a uh, Sitica spruce on the front, which makes for a good guitar. The Epiphone is made in China. All right, but this is only a $99 deal. It's Gibson has an Epiphone, and it's their foreign-made alternative to the U.S. guitar. Now, this is a uh, rosewood laminate. It's like a plywood on the sides and on the back. Nice split back. Um, the craftsmanship is just, you can tell by looking at it, just the, the smoothness of the tailor versus this and the way it's all joined together at the seams. The tailor is, is really a higher end, nice, nicely made guitar. But as far as wood goes, this is a Sitica face and a uh, rosewood laminate, I think I said that. Plywood on the sides. And the, the tailor just, it, the tuners on this are not that great. Yeah, they work and you can tune it, but I, I don't think they'll last very long. You know, you can upgrade the tuners for about 60 bucks. I did that to one of my other Epiphones. But, uh, and then the material used in this is a little bit different than the Taylor. The Taylor uses a Tusk. And this is probably, I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. But it's a Gibson Epiphone. And uh, for, for $100 for a carry around guitar, now it's not going to hold a real good tune if you go inside, outside, whatever. It's not as good of a, a structure of it. Although it does pretty decent. And the sound? You be you you be the judge on that. It just sounds for for a ninety nine dollar guitar.